Jersey Sports Zone's Tournament of Champions coverage is being brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. The final game in the magnificent career of Madison St. Rose. The Gatorade Player of the Year and St. John Vianney facing Rutgers Prep in the last ever Tournament of Champions final. The Lancers have been absolutely dominant against the state's best teams. Menka Halen with the long two has SJV out to a quick 8-0 start. Then it's Kahalen with a quick pass back to St. Rose. Madison St. Rose knocking down the triple and the Lancers are on fire. A huge spark from Julia Carpell. Here she knocks down the three ball and then it's St. Rose finding Carpell. That's five straight points by the sophomore. St. John Vianney out to a 19-4 lead. Rutgers Prep lost to Vianney by 39 in the regular season. But I'll tell you what, the Argonauts played tremendous in the second quarter to make it a game. Michaela Blakes with the steal and the lay-in. And then check out Katie Ledden on the reverse. Awesome! At the half, we've got a game. Rutgers prep down eight, 40 to 32. Zoe Brooks struggled in the first half, but came on in the second. The junior had 14 points and is always electrifying when she takes it to the 10. St. Rose draws a crowd and the basketball IQ kicks in. Maddie to Julia Carpell up top. She had 11 and gives a glimpse of what's to come over the next two seasons. The Lancers turned up the defense in the third quarter and started to pull away. St. Rose goes the distance for two more. Then closing seconds of the third, off the miss. Ashley O'Connor beats the buzzer. O'Connor might be the best lockdown defender in the state, she gives the Lancers a 56-41 lead as we head to the fourth. So much depth on this St. John Vianney roster, just about every player in the rotation is D1. Janie Bachman committed to Holy Cross. She had a great game, nine points and five rebounds. Give credit to Rutgers Prep, they had an incredible season. First trip ever to the TFC Finals, Michaela Blakes finishes with 18 points, seven boards and five steals but it was St. John Vianney doing what St. John Vianney does, dominate. Madison St. Rose could have played anywhere in the country. Princeton is getting a player who will no doubt be an impact at the college level. Madison St. Rose closes out her career with 21 points. If it wasn't for COVID, she very well could have been a 2,000 point scorer, a three-time state champ, and maybe even three TFC titles. They will finish the year top three in the country with an amazing 32-1 record. Their lone loss coming to the number one team in the country. 72-52 is your final. It's the eighth and final Tournament of Champions title for St. John Vianney. This team may go down as not only the best ever in SJV history, but the entire state. Dawn Carpell has built a national power. JSZ's Neri Rodriguez talks with her at center court moments after the final horn. Thanks, Rich. I'm here with the Tournament of Champion winner, St. John Vianney, Lady Lancers, Coach Dawn Carpell. Tell me, uh, it seems like this was three years in the making. How's it feel to uh, win the Tournament of Champions final? It was amazing just to get to this point, the mountaintop, so to speak. But, you know, it took us a number of years, and uh, I'm just so proud of this group that they just, the resilience to see it through is like, I don't know if you guys understand how difficult it is to be this mentally tough to dominate the way we've done this season is just unbelievable. This is just such a great feeling to finally get an opportunity with my team to play in this game and for us to just pull through, I mean that's all I can ask for as a senior and everyone is just super proud of each other. We, every, every single game we had each other's backs and I mean that's the team that I would, I would always want to play with. Reporting from Rutgers, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.